In this video, I'll take you through the new features and improvements in Oticon Genie 2 2024.2. They're designed to maximize your clinical efficiency. Let's start with the Resource Center. Previously, it was possible to access the Resource Center through various links on the left-hand side of the screen. When clicked on, they would all lead to the same interface, the Resource Center. For ease of use, we have now combined all these links into one Resource Center link, making it easier to navigate to the Resource Center. This can be accessed through the Welcome screen, the Selection screen, and the End Fitting screen under Links. You can now keep existing settings in Personalization. The Personalization tab contains client data and personalization method, where you can add the client's act value or use the personalization questionnaire. When any information is changed under client data or personalization method, you'll be asked whether you would like to recalculate the settings or keep existing settings. There is also now a faster feedback analyzer. With the theme of further enhancing clinical efficiency, the feedback analyzer is now 22% faster. This is because the feedback analyzer is now embedded in the hearing aid, meaning the fitting software simply asks the hearing aid to perform the feedback test and the measurement is sent back to the fitting software when it is completed. Here is a video to show just how much faster it is. It is now easier to change the measurement protocol in REM AutoFit. The REM AutoFit measurement protocol can now be accessed within the REM AutoFit program. This allows for easier switching between insertion gain and speech mapping. Hovering over the information icon provides a description of insertion gain versus speech mapping. We also have an update for our remote care solution. You are now able to blur your background during a remote care session to ensure privacy. This feature can be enabled before the remote care session by checking the blur background box. It can also be done while you're in the remote care session, if needed, by clicking the blur button right here. Several in-fitting updates have also been included in this release. Firstly, more information has been added regarding the time the user needs to hold down the button for different actions. Here is the information icon next to Use Tap Control, which provides more information regarding tap control compatibility. Lastly, Service Mode under Audible Indicators is now configurable. The box next to Service Mode can be checked or unchecked to turn Service Mode on or off. These new features and improvements in Oticon Genie 2 2024.2 aim to improve your clinical efficiency, allowing you to spend more time on the individual needs of your clients. If you want to learn more, please visit the Oticon website.